Today on Alex Lab channel you will see how to design comfortable anatomical armor for everyday wear and then creating with a camera on your phone, 3D editor and 3D printer, a detailed copy of your own body, sculpt a scale model of the future suit old-fashioned way from plasticine in order to achieve a perfectly precise fit on the figure. All blueprints and PDF guides are available for Alex Lab YouTube and Patreon members, so let the show begin. Good evening, my dear fans! Long break, new topic, a little background. We started our rampage when we packed the hand into a metal exosuit. I say we because it's been four years, you sent me the pictures of your metal limbs to my email and I really appreciate it. Then we added different hydrogen generators and a whole bunch of other gadgets to power repulsor, hydrogen cutters and other wearable stuff. We added hydrogen muscles to arms and legs, sensors that captured muscle contractions, made a fully metal helmet and after all even learned how to cover absolutely any details with metal. That's how you promise anything after a couple of Red Bull cans extra motivation and then you do it for four years, but now we already have a bunch of cool body kit to wear. And now the question. Which of you, even a day, went in a suit, shirt or jeans a couple of sizes too small? Now imagine that it's not a textile clothes but a few kilograms of metal on top of your body, which to put it mildly are not made exactly according to the figure. Do you understand what I mean? The exact fit of the suit to the figure is actually critically important, but in the beginning you somehow do not pay attention to this aspect, because usually Iron Man type suits are made according to the plan from the outer layer inward and not from the body to the outer layer. I also wanted a comfortable and lightweight body armor to make it easier to drive an electric unicycle through all sorts of abundant places. And stop teasing me that all this craving for comfort really comes with age. In any case, I decided to take the time, understand this topic and show you cheap and elegant technology which will help you to design and customize hot armor suits and exoskeletons literally in the mold of your own figure. Do it without tons of expensive alginate mass and size plastic casts which are used uh, to create custom in our favorite blockbusters. Just like working on all other gadgets, suit design begins at the desk from a piece of paper and a pencil sketch. To begin with, we make some general sketches in order to outline the appearance of the future costume in general terms. The main concept of this model is maximum ergonomics, repetition of body lines and the organic arrangement of the armor plates in accordance with the body. Also along with the sketches we make notes in a diary. Here we describe all the ideas and nuances which we want to put into this model. What main nodes need to be worked especially carefully? What tools, processing technologies and programs do you need to learn? What components can be ordered in advance so as not to delay the deadlines? What materials are best to use for a particular part? Materials will be fully devoted to the next video, but to understand the general concept of the project, it is important to briefly mention them now. Armor plates of the future suit will be produced using the same technology how lightweight composite plates are made in bulletproof vests. With the help of an accurate computer model of each element, a template of the required shape is printed on a 3D printer. Depending on the required protection class of armor plates, it is made of different numbers of layers – fiberglass, kevlar, carbon, steel mesh and epoxy. Thus, with the help of an accurate computer simulation, we can make armor elements of any shape and choose any radio of strength and weight. An important technological advantage manufacturing of composite elements over the same sheet steel elements is that the details with complex curved profile made of composite no more difficult to make than an ordinary flat sandwich. What cannot be said about steel, which must be precise, marked, cut, bent and welded. Therefore, an important task with the composite technology becomes obtaining the most accurate and detailed 3D models of your own body and armor place templates. There are different ways to get a 3D model of your own body. The best option is a professional 3D scanner, but given the high cost, I think the purchase is justified only if you need to digitize pieces of the real world every day. 
In the latest smartphones like iPhone Pro Series, one of the camera has a LiDAR function, which essentially is a built-in 3D scanner with excellent resolution. If you or your friend has such a thing, then download the application 3D scanner and get your own 3D model, which is almost as accurate as professional 3D scanner. But still few people have a Pro Series, but a smartphone with face recognition is already uh, more affordable. Front camera of the devices with Face ID function works like a simplified 3D scanner. It measures the distance to points on the surface of the face or body and builds a rather rough 3D model based on them, but with a close match in size. And of course, there are ways to build 3D models without any sensors, just from photographs of the objects from different angels. In 2010s, we still did it by hand. To do this, it was necessary to photograph the objects from different angels, align projections with minimal axial shifts, and most importantly, with minimal distortion from perspective, and build anchor points using three projections as background image in the 3D editor. But now there are already special programs such as Meshroom in which you can drive hundreds of photos from different angels and they will process them and make 3D model automatically. This direction is called photogrammetry. Choose the method available to you to scan your own body. I got a phone with Face ID, so I made my virtual avatar using the iPhone's front camera and the In3D app. After importing the finished model in the 3D editor such as Blender, set the actual scale of the object and adjust the growth of the figure to your own. Of course, I immediately became interested how closely the dimensions of the model compare with mine in the real world. And I printed the hand in one-to-one -one scale. Interesting, even without editing the model, the maximum discrepancy in gear didn't exceed 10 mm. What does it mean? If you need to create a new suit or scale a ready-made suit under your figure, it is enough to make such a roof scan and make a visual fitting of parts in the 3D editor using the figure as a dummy. Modeling a new suit and turning on the magnet snap and shrink wrap modifier, which will stick the new model to the surface of the body, you will already receive a suit that will fit almost perfectly. And if for a simple suit size fit the quality of such a 3D scan is suitable, then for designing a new costume a more detailed model is needed. If we want the plates to repeat our figure and the costume felt like an extension of the body, we need to visualize the location of muscles, bones and understand the attachment points of elements and the mechanics of their movements. And before proceeding to the development of the model, a few words about the sponsors of this video because the only sponsors are you. Becoming a channel member on YouTube or Patreon, you not only help to develop my channel, but you also get access to all the PDF instructions and blueprints of Alex Lab. Different models of Iron Man reactors to generate hydrogen for repulsors and other scientific experiments, building instructions of the basic model of the exoskeleton, 3D model of the Iron Man helmet fully prepared for printing on a 3D printer, which I used to make a full metal helmet. A hydrogen booster for an engine that will make your bike much faster than the manufacturer claims, kilowatt electrolyzer for decarbonization of the engine and hydrogen cutting of metal, guidebook for calculation and manufacturing your own electrolyzers, practical electroplating book to cover any complex detail with metal, and of course a book on 3D modeling in which you will find even more details on the topic of this video. Maybe I could release videos more often if I stop writing a book for each of them, but Alex Lab Blueprints is the most popular Google search phrase, and I love making them for you. Okay, let's go further. So, the task is that we need a more detailed 3D model but with the same dimensions as the 3D scan. Edit and add details to the scan model will not work because the mesh of this object is built from triangles. Triangle mesh topology is good for models and games, animations and anywhere fast rendering is needed, but for convenient modeling, detailing, correcting gear with loop is more suitable square grid topology. That is, we need to build a new grid on top of the old one, and this technique is called retopology. The most complex part of human topology is the head, and the good news is that we will not do it manually. Instead, we set the free face builder add-on from Kentools, upload 7 photos of the head from different angels and a pair of neural networks, automatically connect the node points of your head, 
with the corresponding nodes finished and perfectly adjusted grid of squares. If 3D models need to be given maximum portrait resemblance to the original, then you can manually add a few more anchor points and tighten the mesh to match your face. So we get an exact copy of the head in 5 minutes with a perfect grid topology. But the rest of the body we will make manually, first because I didn't find any ready-made body add-on, and secondly, well, because hey, we don't want just take and consume, we want to build and create, right? Luckily, YouTube is full of tutorials on human red topology because it is one of the most popular modeling and animation tasks. In addition to tutorials will also be useful the classic book of anatomy by Frédéric Delavier and as many of your own images as possible from different angels. Remember that with magnet snapping and shrink wrap modifier enabled, we are not actually modeling a new 3D object. We are just drawing a new mesh on top of the finished object. Most importantly, after building the correct square mesh over the 3D scan and disabling snapping, we do not build muscles, but vice versa, we push the relief inward, do not change the external dimensions even by a millimeter. Thus, we get a more detailed model with a complete match of external dimensions with a 3D scan and your own body. Choose a good scale of the model for printing. The higher the detail of the suit model, the larger it is better to set the scale. I choose 1 to 4 scale to make it easier fitting with small details of the suit. Set print settings for models with high detail. Minimum layer high of 0.12 mm, 3 layer wall thickness and 5% geroid type infill. This way we get in volume an exact reduced copy of our torso. Remeasure after printing all sizes and girth compare with your own measurements and fix the discrepancies in millimeters in terms of 100% scale. Such technology using 3D scanning as the basis gives minimal discrepancy with the original. PLA plastic has a lot of glare after printing and it is a little stressful given that the model was made specifically in order to visually see the relief and work with volumes. Also glare will interfere with further scanning of the model, therefore it is better to make the model matte. Process the surface removing gross printing defects and traces of support details with needle files and sandpaper. This time it is better to choose a spray primer with medium covering power, as a primer that is too thick will cover the fine details and we will spend too much time polishing to work them out. Ideally, to do a test code before the main work as written and the instructions on the can. After the first layer has completely dried, remove the primer from the protruding interlaced tabs. The task is to remove the primer from the ledges, but leave it in the recesses so as to align the standard relief that remains after the FDM printer. Cover the model with a second layer of primer and also wait for complete drying. Process with 1000 grain sandpaper when it necessary and get an aligned matte model. Volumes, relief and baselines for this version much easier to read than the newly printed version. Now, on the basis of an accurate reduced cast, when you can really turn it on your hands, we start modeling the costume itself. All elements of the suit will be approximately the same thickness. Therefore, for the convenience of sculpting, you can speed up the process and prepare plasticine sheets of the same thickness in advance. I expect that the thickness of the composite armor plates in the first lightweight version will be around 12 mm. Considering the scale is 1 to 4, we will need 3 mm plasticine sheets. Using a pair of rulers as a guide for the cutter, cut plasticine with thin steel wire or capron thread. Such blanks will also facilitate the achievement symmetry between the right and left parts when sculpting. Now we get all the sketches, saved photos and any other references of the future costume and start sculpting. The main principle at this stage is from general to specific, from big parts to small ones, from details that are already clear how they should look to those whose form is not yet fully understood. Notice how the detailed relief of the model helps to set the shape of the future armor plates. Muscle outlines can be used as guidelines for the stack. 
At the first stage we model the common lines of all elements and set the distance between them, approximately figuring out how it will look in dynamics. The Pleistocene model may differ from sketch, since in the drawings it is impossible to work out the volume so well like when you hold a three-dimensional part in your hands. When the main lines and general contours of the elements are made, the outer surface of the suit obviously follows the shape of the muscles. You can leave it like this, or you can give the planes any design you like. With a narrow clerical knife and a minimal set of stacks, you can work out the contour of the plates, add chamfers and define new planes, creating your own unique look. The beauty of working with good old plasticine is that at any time you can correct or add the necessary details increase or decrease volume, smooth corners or vice versa, add edges, evaluate how the detail and the whole composition look from the side. Even with crazy progress of computer visualization technologies, the design of new spot cars models, for example, is still first made of plasticine because nothing can replace the visibility, speed and convenience of this method. After all the outer surface of the elements have been worked out, Add small details and think over the attachment points while contemplating the conspiracy theory that if Iron Man had to do ergonomic armor suit for everyday wear, then he would have made a classic Batman suit from the Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. How accurate will be the fitting on a suit to body made using this technology, we will see in the next video. Naturally, as usual, I wanted to cram the whole project into one video and release it in another half a year, but you yourself asked me not to do this again, okay, I won't. But remember that the release of the video is not an action, this is a process. But while I'm messing with composites and you will be waiting for the next video, you can already use these developments in your own projects. And now you know where to get Alex Lab blueprints. If you're sad to say goodbye, check out the old video playlist when my cave was not yet poisoned with the fruits and blessings of Western civilization like 3D printers and I did everything with my own hands with a box of scrap. Comments, likes and subscriptions here. I go to mess with Kevlar. See you soon. Hopefully.